Hello everyone, my name is Legend Rania and this game is Rise of Kingdoms, Babel's Commander Spotlight version 2.0. This is what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna talk everything that it is to know about Babel's, including talents, pairings, where you should use it and everything you wanna know about. If you're interested in other commanders, you should definitely check the playlist about my Commander Spotlight. Scroll down on the playlist until the bottom until you see the version 2.0 of the Commander. It has been about a year or more since I have done these Commander Spotlights, they definitely need a review, that's why I'm naming them version 2.0. Let's dive right into the video. And because he is an Epic Commander, you definitely want to know approximately the sculptures you need to max out an Epic Commander and the stars you need to max out an Epic Commander. There's a couple more things that I need to mention since I'm talking about uh, him specific. Talents only work from the primary commander this is very important that you want to keep in mind equipment only works from the primary commander as well and another advice i can give you before you start leveling up any commanders in general is keeping them at one star and max out their primary skill in general the primary skill of every commander is kind of the best skill they have you know the primary so keeping them at one star and maxing out their primary skill it's gonna help you throughout the game a lot in some situation some commanders are really really good just with the primary skill maxed out or very useful you're probably noticing because i was mentioning about the equipment this can also tell you that babers is one of my primary commanders and i actually use him every time i go to war every time i take my marches out to go to war to go field battles babers is one of the commanders that is leading my one of my march and we're going to talk about pairings as well and we're also going to talk about the fact that he's a conquering commander and can he actually rally cities yes he can especially for a, a free to play he's one of the best options that you actually have on rallying cities. Right, let's look a little bit about his skills. So we have his primary skills. I'm looking over here right now is so you guys can see without the expertise. So without the expertise is 750 damage factor. They're still very significant. It still hits up to three targets. So even without his expertise, he's pretty powerful now his second best skill is gonna be this one which is 20 percent cavalry attack bonus that's pretty significant it's just straight off attack it kind of gives you the idea that he is a very offensive commander meaning that he's just gonna do a lot of skill damage he's just gonna do damage not much tankiness like some other commanders for example pelagius which also has defense on his calves and also has a bit of healing commander babers is doing a lot more damage than pelagius with his primary skill once his expertise is 1000 damage factor in a single nuke not in additional uh, nukes which is much more powerful and on top of that he also has some mars upon leaving battle now how is that working the moment that you are on the battlefield you are engaged in battle and you want to retreat him the moment you leave the battle you gain this mars speed 50% for 10 seconds. It kind of gives you the opportunity to choose your own battle. If you have the Mars speed, you can actually choose your own battle. For example, if you're not mass technology, fighting some T5 players is not highly recommended for you because you'll definitely have a lot of severely wounded and high chances of not succeeding fighting with him. So having a lot of Mars speed is actually going to give you a slight edge so you can choose your own battles. And then we already seen his expertise, which increased his primary kill up to 1000 and it hits a maximum of five targets reducing their mind speed for 50 seconds that's really powerful that's a really really powerful skill 1000 damage factor 20 percent attack to your calves so again he's one of my primary commanders don't hesitate investing in him. like one player left a comment in uh, one of my video the comment was about the fact that i'm one of the very few 100 million plus players who is still using epic commanders and that's very very true because epic commanders have value and there's a lot of players that don't actually put that much value in those epic commanders having a lot of field battle experience like i do kind of tells you a lot about epic commanders and the reason i'm using them <clears throat> right let's go into the talents and then let's talk about some pairing all right so going into his talents this is the talent build that i have right now on him my previous talent build which i changed him in the second season of the lost kingdom so about the middle of the second season from the lost kingdom that's when i changed to this talent build 
My previous Talon build didn't have Emblazoned Shield and didn't have the Dragon Saber plus that attack and it actually had Mars Speed because I'm such a fan of Mars Speed I just went and took Mars Speed from wherever I took. On top of that Moment of Triumph is not a bad talent and same is Buckler Shield. It's also they are both very good talents. But I've noticed one thing that when my Babers is being a target, he's actually going down too fast because there's not enough protection on the march. So previously, back then, I was using Babers and Sansu, and we're gonna talk about pairings when we get into the pairings. I was using Babers and Sansu, and still it was not enough protection. The damage was good, but it was going down fast. And my enemies noticed that he's going down fast, so they kind of were targeting babers as a as a target i was getting also a lot of severely wounded so i had to do to change something something had to be done i kept the black buckle shield because it's a nice it's a nice protection reduce counter attack damage taken by nine percent and i took emblazoned shield because this reduced skill damage taken by 12 percent is pretty significant so i did notice a change the moment i put emblazoned shield so this is pretty much the talent build that i use on babers right now now if you're in the early game if you're not max technology uh, let's say up to 35 40, 40 million power i would suggest to go with the full skill talent tree and by going with the full skill talent tree you have to drop the conquering part which this is seven talents you need 10 so the way this talent build it is right now you need 10 for feral nature considering that babers is level 60 you need seven from the conquering and then you need another three from here so the attack and probably two from dragon saber so you can get the feral nature if you don't have max technology your best weapon is trying to do as fast a skill damage as possible and as much skill damage as possible so feral nature can be a very high advantage for you if you're not max tech if you're max tech then going with more stats and uh, having a reduced counter attack damage taken might be the way for you so at least this is what i'm using right now and it actually works i prefer it this way with more normal attack and more stats on my calves now for free to play if you guys plan to rally with babers i also have a talent build for that and this is the talent build that i would use if i have to rally cities so if i have to rally cities with babers especially if you're a free to play player this is pretty much your kind of your best option that you have against the uh, is gonna be calves and you have babers as a conquering commander and you have osman as a second in command which also has conquering and powerful nuke capabilities now think about that there's nothing wrong in pairing them together you have the full skill talent tree and trench is really really needed it's uh, quite a against cities it's quite a really really good talent it increases all damage and also reduces damage taken from the the garrisons is pretty powerful and then if you look on the calf you're probably noticing there's just a couple of talents and you're, you're saying well why do i need to do a full calf rally i can do a mixed rally you need to do a full calf rally if you check specific there's actually just a couple of talents that are missing so that's three percent defense that's one percent health and one percent plus one percent two percent attack so that's the only stats that are missing if you're looking on all the talents that i kind of selected that's only pure damage and bonuses to your calf mark increase health to, to calves and again health to calves so that's pretty consistent in uh, bonusing your calves or giving bonuses to your calves as much as possible if you want to have a preview about the talent build that i was mentioning if you're in the early games and you're not max technology is similar to the genghis khan this is pretty much what genghis khan has and this is similar what you can do on your uh, if you're not max technology right now let's go into into pairings and let's see who we can pair babers with because you're probably wondering pretty much with any calf commander you want either primary or secondary now if you want to pair him with pelagius i suggest pelagius being primary because babers has the highest nuke and i'm gonna uh, put a card about uh, that for the reason why the highest nuker should be second in general in some situation except genghis khan situation if you can put him primary that's because of bridge requirement for his primary skill 
for that reason i put genghis khan first if i would have options i would probably put him a second as well right so if you want to pair pelagius with babers i definitely would put babers second i use him primary because I'm mainly using for debuffing and Pelagius is primary to another march of mine with double C and same is Genghis and same is Minamoto. So I have four calf marches on, on the field and Babers is leading one of them and he will definitely gonna keep leading one of them for a very long time. His skills are really really good for an epic commander. Right now my Babers is paired with Aetherfled because the synergy is really good between the skills. He slows targets then my march will deal additional damage. Aetherfled also has slowed and counterattack damage reduction. That brings me to 29% counterattack damage taken reduction, which is pretty significant, especially when you're fighting infantry. Her primary skill is hitting up to 5 targets as well. So he's hitting 5 targets, then Aetherfled is hitting 5 targets. It's a really good synergy between the skills. I really like how they work. Before I maxed out Aetherfled, because I only used Aetherfled once I maxed her skills out. So before I maxed the skills of Aetherfled, I was using Babers with Sun. Babers primary and Sun to secondary. The reason being that is the synergy between the skills. Again, same situation. Skill damage increase, very, very good. Nothing wrong in that. Damage taken reduction, because it's not necessary infantry. It's only the second one, which is specific for infantry, the health bonus. So damage taken reduction and AOE plus rage restoration. So for that reason, I never took Feral Nature with my Babers because using him with Sansu, it's never needed. That's 250 up to 250 rage restoration that Sansu can uh, can bring. That's a lot more than you need. They actually work really, really good. I use them for a very, very long time. But now that Aetherfled is maxed out, I do need her on the battlefield. The debuff on the primary skill is so, so powerful. It makes a difference, so I just need her. Plus, she still does some, you know, skill damage. Other combination you can do with Babers is with Belisario. Four, four, Ark of Osiris. Now the reason I'm saying that for Ark of Osiris and preferably would be Belisarius primary and paper second is for the Ark capture. This guy increased Mars speed after leaving battle by 50% and this guy also gives you march speed upon leaving battle. Now, considering that you're leading with Belisarius and Babers second, and you have the arc and your enemy is attacking you, now if that march is being knocked down and you're still alive, you get 100% march. No one for 10 seconds, for 10 seconds, no one will be able to capture. Now imagine how much you're gonna travel and imagine how much boost you, you're gonna get. Imagine that your guys are gonna knock down all the enemies while you have the arc with Belisarius leading and Babers second. Once they are down, if you're still alive, you get 100% march speed boost for 10 seconds. Now all that boost is gonna give you a very good lead on delivering the arc towards it's supposed to go. So that's also a very, very good option for where you can use Babers instead of just having Having legendaries on the battlefield so there's plenty plenty of options for epic commanders on your army composition you just need to find it and like I just mentioned for city hitting Osman rallying cities that's a great combination I would not send Scipio on hitting cities with with Babers to be honest I would rather go Babers primary and Osmo secondary for hitting cities that's the best free-to-play pair that you can get I'll put a link about free-to-play rallies as well if you want to check check that video out it's really really good synergy a lot of skill damage packed between Osman and Babers together. You're probably wondering, can he be paired with Genghis Khan, with Saladin, with Minamoto, with Double C? Yes, he can. He definitely can. There's no problems in pairing him with any of the commanders. You're all probably asking, can he be paired with Mehmed or Frederick? There's a good synergy between them as well. Even Julius Caesar, if you just want to increase a little bit his tankiness, as long as you have the first two skills maxed on Julius Caesar or the first two skills maxed on Mehmed, that's a good pair. That's a good pair with Babers. Like you could even pair him with Hannibal Barca. There's, there's nothing wrong in it. The reason I make my pairs like this, I usually always try to put a commander that gives me some defensive options. So that's why Babers and Aetherfled 
it is a little bit of defensive option, 20% counter attack plus 9 damage reduction, and Babers has the capabilities to withdraw from the battlefield very very fast, you just send him back, the moment he's leaving battle he's getting 50% march speed, so if he's actually a target, you don't have to keep it there until he's getting knocked down, you just send him back, you know, and you save him rather than just having a lot of severely wounded so there's a lot of option for calves and this is the reason i like to use calves for example another build of mine is pelagius with double c which again same situation there's synergy between the skills both have rage restoration both have healing and attack and defense to the calves so again a very nice synergy genghis and saladin genghis primary saladin secondary it's also another build of mine the reason being that genghis is very weak has no defensive option so he needs saladin he needs someone like that if i put genghis and double seed they are very powerful and new king don't get, get me wrong that's a lot of damage packed together but they are very weak the moment they are being targeted they just melt so for that reason i put saladin a second to give him some skill damage reduction counter attack and some defense to the calves you know kind of makes the the march a little bit tankier and my Miramoto right now is paired with Sansu, and that will just be a little bit temporary until I put my hands on Takeda. My plan was to max out Alexander and just put Minamoto and Alexander, because Alexander does give a little bit of protection, he does have this shield and on top of that is gonna shield some, one of my marchers, plus damage to the target once the shield breaks so that's really really good the only thing that i would not benefit using alexander with calves would be this front line commander infantry march speed and attack and then i would also benefit from this one because this one is dependent by the shield when his shield is active the bonus changes to defense so pretty much attack is increased by 40% when the shield is down. And when the shield is active, you get 30% diff, probably for a second. Yeah, so it would actually give, you know, more nuking options and uh, more damage and some defense for, for him. But they released Takeda. So it's gonna be Milamoto and Takeda as one of my marchers. Whenever Attila is gonna be ready, it's gonna be Attila and Alexander the Great. Right. Now, you know my five marches. And again, Babers and Ethelfled is not going to change from my calf marches. This calf march is, is gonna be pretty solid and pretty set up. I have no reason of changing them. And same goes for Pelagius and Double C. I really have no reason to change them. Again, there's plenty of options, plenty of things that you can change around. As more they introduce commanders, as more options there is in the game. It's quite crazy how many uh, combinations that can be. Players even use Genghis with Osman, saying that it's really great. Uh, Genghis with Babers, Babers with, with Osman, Babers with, uh, you know, who else there is out there? Babers with John of Arc or <laughs> plenty, plenty of options and possibilities that you, you can do out there. I just want to mention just kind of the best and what I'm using right now. I hope that's pretty much enough for this video and I hope you guys have enough in this video. Again, if there's any questions, you can always drop comments in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing off. Peace out, Tio and take care.